What is going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. We are out here today again at Sand Hollow because it is one of my favorite spots to come and drive. I am out here on a new trail for you guys. I've only driven this one other time with my Axial Capra and I'm going to go ahead and call this trail Ibex. Now I brought out the Axial SCX 10.3 Gladiator that I put on Axial Capra axles. So we're going to see how the Gladiator holds up against the Capra. Now I'm going to edit all the footage together but this is the first run of the day with the Gladiator. The Axial Capra was unable to complete every obstacle on this trail, so it's extremely difficult, but that's what makes it fun to me. So I'm gonna see how the 10.3 compares to the Capra. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so here's the SDX 10.3 Capra. Capra Axle Gladiator, I should say. And so right at the gate of the Ibex Trail, you got a nice little steep shoot sand climb here. So on the 10.3 today, I am running 2.2 inch tires. These are the Pitbull RC Braven Berserker tires. These are super fun and I originally bought these for the Capra, but I've got different 2.2s on the Capra today. Oh yuck, what did I do to my Capra? So I put 2.2 inch Proline Racing Predator Compound Ibex tires. Uh, these things are full-on competition 2.2 tires. They are huge. They are way bigger than my other 2.2s on that Gladiator. But the compound is excellent, and man, these things grip some stuff. So I'm putting them on here just to play with it, see how the truck reacts to it, see if it becomes like this ultimate crawler somehow. So we're going to run these tires for a little while. This is more just for fun. I ended up getting these out of a RC trade. As you can see, it's already just crawling up stuff that that Gladiator had to struggle for. Absolutely love the little tracks that these trucks leave here in the sand. It's awesome. Now, one awesome feature on this Gladiator is that it has a very long wheelbase. So on vertical climbs like this, it really helps keep it stable and helps it not flip over backwards. Let's see if we can bump into this just a little bit with some momentum. And that's all she needed to get through that. So my wheel, my wheelbase on my Capra is 13 and a half inches. I did stretch it about a half inch over stock. go got the gladiator up just had to hit that right line keep the front end suspension planted up and over some loose rocks and dirt do this narrow little chute and this chute is essentially done these are the hardest parts right here and there we go it ended up taking the same line as the gladiator Gonna monster right over the top of this. And man, there is so much clearance with these portals and this tall of a tire. It is super fun. I did run this line with the Gladiator and it actually got through, which kind of surprised me, but uh, I did it off camera. It's kind of time consuming with the Gladiator because it's so big. Lock in the dig unit on this Capra. You want to just squeak that tire to the bottom side of that ledge. And 
need to use my rear steer, but I'm not going to. Woo! This tire's sticking like glue. Oh, it's so close to making that. Thankfully, there's a bush there to catch the truck and not letting it tumble all the way back down. Moving on. Right on, so we're gonna give you guys a wider view of what's going on here. We started down in this little hole and we worked our way up this chute. We got up to the top, wheeled an obstacle, came around this side, and then we're gonna hit a crossover, drop all the way back down to the bottom again, and then we're gonna hit a sandstone wall, come up, and then we're gonna end up all along these ledges and these cliffs right here. These ledges on the cliffs, I drive a trail right on the edge of these, and that's why I'm gonna call this one Ibex. Now this Gladiator, I have installed the two-speed as well as the dig unit, so it's quite capable. It gives you a few options, gives you a little extra wheel speed if you need it. And of course the dig helps slide around that front end because this truck does not like to turn. It has a very big turning radius. But overall, I really like the chassis on these SCX 10.3s. I like the internals of it, how the engine is where it's supposed to be, the motor is where the engine should be. And then the uh, transmission looks like a transmission, transfer case looks like a transfer case. And then of course the inner fenders always set off a build. They just make a truck look solid instead of hollow. So I really like these SCX 10.3s from Axial. I think they did an excellent job. All right, Capra entering the crossover. Nice slick surface here. Get a tire up on the wall. Yeah, climb through it with some articulation. And turn downhill. Perfect. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of running a tire this size on a Capra. Is it overkill? Do you guys like it? Is it about performance for you or is it about the looks? Because that's kind of what the question is on these tires. They look ridiculous. They're a little goofy. They're huge. They look like a balloon on here. But holy crap, the performance is there. So hard to complain. Now for this truck, I do run a Holmes Hobby, Holmes Hobby Crawlmaster Sport motor in here. They are very affordable. I think I ended up paying about 20 bucks for it through my A-Main affiliate link. If you guys are interested in picking up anything from A-Main Hobbies, I do have an affiliate link. So be sure to click through there and anything you buy through there will help support the channel. That was close. And it drops you into the bottom of this little chute. A couple big steps. Now this is tough because most RCs have all the weight up front. So as you go downhill, they try and flip over forward. Here we are, dropping into the steps. The weight on the capper is a little more balanced than my Gladiator is. The Gladiator is definitely more front end heavy than this, gla than this capper is. So here we have a little bit wider view of this big rock wall obstacle. We're gonna see if we can run up this little ledge here with the Gladiator. It's got the wheelbase but it might just belly up. We're gonna find out. Okay, it looks like it's gonna belly up pretty dang hard. We'll try and bump it. Not happening today. So I kinda wanna share with you guys that this Gladiator is really long and yeah, the bumper hangs up on it, but it stops it from flipping over backwards. The Capra has a real high chance of just flipping right over right here. 
Oh, that was close. So because there's less of a breakover angle, meaning the ledge keeps going on an upward angle where the truck is, it has a way better chance of making this obstacle. But it is real steep and tall. I've tried this ledge on the Capra with no luck. Maybe today it'll magically do it. I do have some high clearance links on this, but it gets bellied up the same. Not happening. All right, we will try the steeper, taller line further down the hill. You can see it's already wanting to go over. Without that bumper to catch it, makes it tough. All right, guys, so we finally made it out. This is the last section of large vertical climbs where if you roll, you're gonna continue rolling. Now, one thing I kinda wanna highlight here is I made this trail intentionally very difficult. I wanna challenge the trucks, I wanna see what's possible. And if I can't get a climb done these days, maybe at some point in the future I modify the truck, maybe it'll pull it off then. But mostly this trail is just for fun. To really push these RCs, push myself, see what kind of obstacles I can get these things to get over. It's funny, this obstacle does not look like much, but man, it really challenged the Capra too. And apparently the Gladiator doesn't like it either. Kinda ended up skirting around the main ledges here. And this is kind of the first of the technical ledgy parts on this trail. The Gladiator struggled through here and the Capra has in the past. Maybe I'll get the line right tonight. The problem is all those little mossy patches are really just sand balls. And once you break one loose, it just turns into a giant sandstorm. It's so close. Got it. Nice. Sweet. Definitely giving that one to the Ibex on that climb. Now because of this Gladiator's wheelbase and its horrible turning radius, I'm basically going to drive all the way up into this little ledge, throw it and dig, and try and pull it around to get the back end as high and as close to this wall as possible. That was actually my first attempt at this. I might pull it off. Slipping as we go. Very nice, you got it done. That's a fun little ledge for this. So you might be asking yourself, why the hell am I not using my rear steer? Well, I have my GoPro in my right hand and I'm driving with my left hand and uh, I have to mount the GoPro to the controller for my rear steer because it's two-handed driving, so. Right now I'm not doing it. I can if I need to, but it's kind of more of a fair fight with the Gladiator like this anyway. Maybe on the more technical stuff, we'll get that thing set up for rear steer. In the dig. Man, it's just 
just gonna drop again. Ooh, that worked out. Let's keep turning this direction to try and straighten the truck as it comes down. Okay, now I need to dig and turn. done all right and we have now entered the area where we start skirting ledges this is all about tire placement it's all about weight balance and let's be honest it's about knowing how to use a dig unit which mine is not locked at the moment. I need to adjust my endpoints apparently. There it goes, it locked in. Okay, so the Gladiator got that in two tries. I got it right the first time with the Capra, but I also used what I learned from the Gladiator. So maybe call that one even. All right guys, so this little obstacle right here does not look all that bad, but man, I could not get my capper to get up this thing. So I brought the Gladiator out specifically to see if it could conquer this, just to see how it did. So let's give it a go. Okay, that's right where I had the capper and it just did not want to get up over this obstacle. With the longer wheelbase, this truck grabbed that ledge I need to get my rear further left. If it would crawl up this, that would be awesome. See, it likes to work its way right as it spins. And that bumper's holding it up. Okay, I'm saying that this is Probably not possible on that line with the Gladiator. So let's just shoot way over left. See, but if I do that, it's going to want to tip. Bumper's holding it up. Yep, just about flopped it. So the Gladiator could not side hill over to this obstacle. Whereas the Capra, yeah, it's just super tippy. These tires kind of like to roll over on themselves. Basically running the car almost vertical here. But hey, this is one of the challenges on this trail is to try and drop down into this spot, which the spot itself is super difficult. Finally got the rear end set up where I need it. See the wheelbase difference? The Gladiator tire was at the bottom and then the front passenger tire was at the top of the ledge so I could turn and it would pull the rig up. The Capra tries to flip over when I do this. See, it gets real light on me. So I mean, there's gotta be just a slightly different line to try and get this done with the Capra, but man, it's just tough. Basically wrapped that bottom tire around that ledge. I got the top tire higher up, but I don't see it going anywhere good from here. So 
see it's just a little too bound up too light on the front end just don't see this one happening with the capper guys which is weird because it just if i glanced at it i was like oh yeah i could drive up that i love obstacles that are kind of unseen challenges like that that's about as much of a bump as i can give it okay i'm in a good spot here almost just need to get the rear end to settle oh ah That is one nice part on those giant tutus, they're just big pillows. I don't think I broke anything, we're gonna find out. Right guys, well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give the capper the push of shame here before I roll it down the whole cliff again. So, let's get her on up this obstacle. And off we go. Now we are getting into the cliffhanger portion of this trail. I don't know if I trust this gladiator here or not. I have to reach out and grab her. <laughs> this truck has not impressed me with side hilling ability. And it's a solid drop if it comes off of here. It's looking like it's going to slip. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> So, if she gets a pass on that one, don't particularly want to lose the gladiator off that cliff. Climb the ledge up and out of that one, which is just going to take you right to another cliff hanging obstacle. Let's see if the capper can side hill. The key is just to get that front axle level before the rear starts to drop. Okay, front axle's down. Crab crawl across. Get all four tires down. And then try and reposition yourself. Oh, yep, yeah, I gotta save the capper too. Okay, starting to slide on top of that sand. Climb our way up and out. Let's turn into it. Get the ledge up top too, turn into that. Yeah, just drive over all the rocks. Okay, now I'm not gonna get down below on the capper for this one. We'll see if that's gonna be a mistake or not. Okay, full rear steer. I want to try and square up to this ledge. I'm going to try and drive a little bit into that bush. Hook the tire on that rock. Hope the rock saves me. Going to dig. I'm just sitting on the front axle. Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> down below this cliff because I expect it to fall on my face here in about three seconds. Oh, it's so close to tipping. It did not tip. It's facing completely the wrong direction at this point. The bush is holding on to it. That's the only thing saving it. Dang! That was a little rough and ugly, but... 
it did not fall off the cliff. I did not touch the truck. And I was even able to correct its direction afterward. As you guys can see here, that is a serious drop. And that gladiator was right on the edge. So way to go, gladiator. Well, now it's time for another descent. Well, I was gonna bounce off the cliff. That's why I call this trail Ibex, because I mean, you're hanging out right on the cliff side. You better be sure-footed or else you're going down. And uh, I've proved this a couple times now. I'm gonna crab crawl back up the hill to try and get that rear higher up. Now it's time to dig. Man, that rear is just sliding out on me today. Ooh, got a lucky one on that one. It's gonna be a tough one, guys. I might have to just throttle out. Not looking good. I want to crawl it if I can. Woo! Capper did it. Obviously, I wasn't real confident, but doesn't mean it didn't do it. I think I had a rough day out on the trail today, but uh, I still pulled off some pretty awesome climbs. This is just a super, super tough trail that I came up with out here. Intentionally to push these trucks hard. got it that's it This is purely just for entertainment. See how sideways I can get through this corner. Diffed out on that rock. Carrying a tire in the front, bad. And she settled on down. That was a fun line, I like that one. Up and out on the trail of Ibex. Well guys, my name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Like I mentioned, there are links down below for both trucks, all the upgrades I've done to each one. If you buy anything through those links, it helps support the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. There's Amazon and A-Main affiliate links down below, so be sure to check them out. I am out here at Sand Hollow all the time. I am very fortunate to be able to come out and crawl, and I greatly appreciate every one of you guys for watching and commenting. Be sure to let me know which rig you like. Let me know if those 2.2s are a little too much on that Capra. Man, they're certainly a good time to get out and crawl, and they add a ton of performance. Until the next one, guys, keep the rubber side down. We will see you in the next one.